Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft. And joining me right now is Patrick Donnelly. He is the president and CEO of E79 Resources Corp. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, ESNR on the CSE and ESVNF on the OTCQB. And E79 Resources will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek happening September 13th through 16, 2022. For more information, please go to preciousummit.com. And with that, Patrick, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you, Robert. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. It's great to have you on. So this is our first interview together talking about E79 resources. So can you start us off with a quick overview and history of the company? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I only joined the company last May. And, um, you know, E79, we're an exploration gold company uh, focused on our assets in the state of Victoria in Australia. And specifically, we are on the Victorian gold belt. And uh, the two properties we have are Meadowford and Beaufort. And um, this, these two projects um, have seen a lot of historic activity, specifically during the Australian gold rush in the late 1800s. And uh, it's a relatively new company. Uh, we raised uh, quite a bit of money just over a year ago. We have Eric Spra as a shareholder. Uh, we also have US Global in there and a few other uh, funds. And we've been actively drilling now probably just over a year. And uh, last year, uh, we actually put out some pretty amazing drilling results, specifically uh, just only our third hole, we drilled 11 meters of 160 grams of gold at the Happy Valley area within Myrtleford. And since then, we've been drilling at Happy Valley, and we've been continuing to put out some pretty exceptional uh, gold intersections. And we've also now been drilling at our Twist Creek uh, area, which is also on Myrtleford. And we just put out some really good drilling results uh, yesterday. So exploration company. And uh, what's really interesting is these two projects or properties, um, they've yielded millions of ounces of gold. For example, Myrtleford has yielded over 5 million ounces of gold during that gold rush, most of it from alluvial mining. And it's basically old timers going in there with pickaxe and shovels and just scratching away at the surface and they pulled up 5 million ounces. And so what we're doing is we're going to the source of that gold mineralization. And, um, and in, the, in these areas, there's numerous workings at its trenches, but the old timers only mined about 30 feet below surface. And so we're going below these workings and we're finding more gold mineralization. So it's an absolutely fascinating story um, and when I saw these projects and, and the progress of the company, I thought, wow, this is a great opportunity. And that's why I joined. So Patrick, what, what, what is your background? You know, you mentioned that you just recently sure. joined the company and a little bit as to why and what makes the projects unique and different, but, you know, prior to coming to E79, you know, what, what, what were you up to? Yeah, my background is I'm a geologist and I've been in this business now for, gee, just over almost 30 years. And uh, I started out as a geologist and, and specifically, I was an exploration geologist uh, in Canada. So I worked all over Northern Canada, British Columbia, the Yukon, Ontario, uh, looking for gold, base metals, precious metals and diamonds. Um, subsequently, I was a cell site analyst in Toronto, working for a brokerage firm. And then uh, I moved into corporate development uh, in 2010, working for a base metal developer in Africa. And then I work for a company called Trilogy Metals, which is currently developing one of the highest grade copper deposits in the world in Alaska. I co-founded a gold company called First Mining Gold with Keith Newmeyer, who is the present CEO founder of First Majestic Minerals. And um, as I mentioned before, I'm a geologist and, and, and getting back to E79, um, you know, one of the reasons I joined the company because um, when these guys approached me, when the board of directors approached me, I hadn't even heard of E79. And uh, when I took a deep dive and I put my technical hat on, uh, I was like, wow, this is a really interesting story. And not only were they getting really good gold grades, but uh, this is an area that's yielded a lot of gold historically, as I mentioned before. Also, um, this area has received a lot of attraction, specifically the state of Victoria and the Victorian gold fields, because of the success at the Fosterville mine. And Fosterville now is owned by Nico Eagle. And, um, but uh, 
you know, it wasn't a great asset for a long time and it was owned by a number of other operators and then new um, uh, number companies, uh, including New Market and uh, Kirkland Lake Gold, put some money into it and uh, found uh, super high grade coarse gold, specifically at the Swan Zone. And now Fosterville is one of the most, is what is a world-class mine with some of the highest grades in the world. And I was just in Australia uh, about a month ago and I had the opportunity to visit Fosterville. And I came away very, very excited because what we have geologically, mineralogically, geologically, structurally is very similar to what they have at Fosterville. So again, this is a story I get very excited about because we've had very good ex exploration success. There's a lot of low hanging fruit to drill. And yet we're in the um, shadow of a head frame in regards to the Fosterville mine. So it's just an incredible opportunity. And so when the board of directors of uh, E79 asked me whether I wanted to come aboard, I'm like, absolutely. This is a very exciting story and, and something I can sink my teeth into. And, and it's been very, very enjoyable. And the other thing I'll note is um, we have a very strong technical team Australian base so our Australian uh, people run everything there and and it's you know one thing I've learned is you need strong people to have success and and when I went to Australia I got very excited about that because I was very very I became very very confident and comfortable with the people we have on the ground. So to close us out here today from what you can tell us what would you say are some of the company's near-term value catalysts coming up? Yeah absolutely you know we have uh, just over 7 million Canadian in the bank and so we're drilling away right now at our projects. So we have plenty of runway, even though the markets are tough right now, we're continuing to drill at Happy Valley and we're also drilling at Twist Creek. And so we continue to expect to have more positive drilling results coming out as we go forward. Uh, I will be hitting the road. Obviously I'm gonna be at the Precious Metal Summit, but I'm also gonna be traveling all over North America and Europe because again, this is a story that's always flown underneath the radar. And so I think this is a good time, despite the tough markets right now, I'm still gonna go out and tell the story, but yes, we're gonna have plenty of news flow. We have plenty of runway with our cash position and we're gonna aggressively market the story. So that's what we're looking forward to in the coming months. Very good. Well, Patrick, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on E79 resources? Yeah, please go to our website, www.e79resources.com or people can email me directly at patrick at e79resources.com. And I'm happy to answer your questions and I'm happy to talk about the story. Very good. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck, stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thank you so much, Robert. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Again, this has been an interview with E79 Resources, who will be presenting at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, happening September 13th through 16th, 2022. For more information, please go to precioussummit.com.